Hey guys, and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah, and with the brand new Star Wars movie that just recently released, a ton of people have flocked to theaters to go and see the movie. And while the movie is absolutely crushing it in the box office, there have been some critics who have found some interesting comparisons that put together Star Wars to Avengers Endgame, which is really interesting considering both of these movies were easily the biggest movies of 2019. So what are these theories and criticisms claiming and do they have any real support going behind it or are they just coincidental occurrences that some people have pointed out? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now of course if you haven't seen the new Star Wars movie there are spoilers in this video so you are warned. Now, pretty much most of the criticism around the new Star Wars movie mostly comes from the pacing throughout the movie. I don't know, we at Film Artsy really enjoyed the movie, but we do understand the criticisms that some people have brought up. Specifically, when you look at the last arc of the film, the third act, there are a lot of really similar comparisons that can be drawn from the events that happen at the end of Avengers Endgame. Specifically, the part where they're in the ships fighting and Poe was counting on reinforcements to come and at the last moment all of these reinforcements just show up out of nowhere similar to how in Avengers Endgame we see a similar situation with Captain America after he loses a one-on-one -on -one fight to Thanos then the portals open and everyone a ton of people come flocking in all at once so there's one similarity there we have another similarity where we see the standoff with Rey, Palpatine, and Ben and honestly there's a moment that almost feels like we're expecting Expecting Rey just to drop the I am Iron Man line similar to Avengers Endgame when she talks about having all of the previous Jedi living in her or how she is all of the previous Jedi. And then we could also argue that there's this final moment where Ben has his redeeming moment where he essentially trades his life for the life of someone else similar to how Tony Stark did that to save all of the unsnapped people at the end of Avengers Endgame. Now obviously there's probably a ton of coincidence going on especially because these movies were all in writing and production phases at separate times. Also, there probably isn't enough time for someone who's writing a Star Wars movie to go and steal a ton of ideas from a movie that's also being released that same year. So we do want to go ahead and say it's most likely coincidental, but it is kind of interesting to see that these two massive movies that are kind of the bookends for their respective series also had a lot of very similar themes. Now you could go and argue that typically when there's some grand finale, the themes of scale and sacrifice are usually typical for movies like this, so we can see any argument and how it is presented. But now we wanted to turn around to you guys. Do you guys think that Star Wars ripped off Avengers Endgame, or do you think it's mostly coincidental and they each were done in respective ways? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on though for more videos just like this, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 See you guys.